Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA 3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing IO Robotics 3D Printing Pen. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please subscribe down below and hit that like button if you do enjoy this video. Uh, so starting off, iRobotics sent me their amazing pen. I believe it runs at $60 um, on Amazon also, also on their uh, website. But along with this, they also sent me their new 3D printing mat, their 3D printing pen mat that you can draw on, and then some of their uh, pen filament, which is just the same as uh, a normal spool filament, just sample filament so you don't have to carry around an, an entire spool. Um, but we'll take a close up on the insides of this and then I'll just narrate it for you guys. But other than that, it looks really, really nice and um, it is a clean looking box. It does come with some plastic over it. I did take it out already. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. All right, so starting off looking at the inside of this box, it is a clean opening box just like that. And right here we have our pen. Now this is a great looking pen, simple and um, looks like it's very easy to use. It is not like most printing pens that is plastic. It has a nice metal casing here and their cool little logo over here also. Um, the, the buttons up here are the temperature button, the speed, and the in or out. So when you want to put some in or if you want to extract some filament out here. Just a very, very simple pen and that's what I like about this. Um, you guys know that I have a 3D Simo and that is a little bit weirder and a different um, holding area. Uh, but this is like a normal pen, so it should be really easy to use. So opening the box, this is a nice foaming just to protect the actual pen. And then there's this little thing under here. And this has the instructions in it, um, some uh, little filament, and then the power cord. Um, so we'll leave the power cord in there for now. But this is just a little filament. So this is some 1.75 PLA transparent. And this is also some 1.75 PLA, um, just some white filament. You also get what you normally get with whatever you buy from um, IO Robotics is their little coupon thing here for their 12 pack of filament. Um, you guys know I reviewed their PLA and it's some very great stuff. So if you do go buy this pen, definitely use this to buy some of their cool filament. So looking inside of the little manual, the first, the front is nice and clean. I definitely like their colors. Um, so it tells you what comes with it, two bags of small filament, power adapter, a USB charger um, cable so that you can use this on your computer um, or on a portable charger if you're in the car or something, um, a user manual, and your 3D pen. Um, over here it tells you what everything is. Um, starting from the top, uh, up here is the power socket and then um, the increasing temperature and decreasing the display and then the speed increase and decrease the filament in and out sensors, and then this is the heating nozzle. And it actually is very, very clean as you can see here. Um, and I think that will be very nice for uh, printing. It'll keep everything away from the nozzle. And it is just a simple little nozzle. I believe it is 0.6 millimeters. That might be a little big, but it's definitely not 0.4 like I normally print with my 3D printers. Um, but you can get this in many different colors. You can get it in black coffee color, gray, golden, blue, purple, pink, or red. I think it would have been a little cool if I could have gotten a different color, um, uh, maybe a blue or something, but it's fine. I really like this plain black color. Um, it is very nice and clean and definitely uh, looks professional. So going to the next page, um, it just shows you some instructions. So I was right, it is a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, um, and I don't believe you can change these. If you can, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Um, but other than that, you just basically plug it in and then start heating up and we'll go over that. Um, and it just gives us a little bit more detail of what this is and how it works. Um, but I'm sure we can figure that out as we go. And um, it just says keep away from water or moisture and do not touch the nozzle because it is very hot, just like a normal 3D printer nozzle. So that's the end of the manual so now we can start plugging this in and heating it up and test out this cool little thing with their 3d printing pen mat so i actually have this plugged into my computer right now so we'll see how well that powers it so we just plug it in and as you can see here there's a little animation and it is actually a very clean lcd screen 
So when you're doing the temperature here, it changes this number. Um, so we're going to go for, um, I think you have to hold it in a little bit. Sometimes it's not going. I probably have to read the manual. So um, right now I have it set at 195, and we'll leave it at that. To actual start, actually start the heating process, you need to press the in button, and now it should start heating up. And as you can see here, it's already up to 40. Um, and that is, it's actually heated up very, very quickly. So we'll have that heat up, and then I'll come back when it is to 195. Out. So I'm just going to open some of this filament here. It is really easy to start with a small roll filament um, like this. If you have a uh, bigger spool, like a bigger sample spool, I usually just put it around my wrist when I'm printing. Um, I think that's easier, and I might actually be able to do that with this, just like this, so um, we can keep everything uh, in one area. So we will press hold in, I think, and as you can hear that, so I'm starting to feed this. I just put it inside the hole over here, um, and then now it's actually grabbing it because there's like a, a motor in there, and I'm just holding in until it goes through. So I'm just holding it, and we'll just let it go through there um, until it comes out the end. Okay, so as you guys can see here, it is coming out the end. So let's start off, we'll open the um, the printing pen uh, thing here. And as you can see, what comes with it is their normal um, little uh, discount thing. Uh, you could get these all together as a premium package. I believe that's what I got. Um, and I do recommend buying these all together. Um, just way simpler and smarter. It comes with two finger covers here, so you do not burn yourself. Um, so I'm going to open this up, and we can start drawing on top of it. Okay, so as you guys can see here, it is right here. It is nice and uh, grippy. It is a very nice silicone mat. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's clear, so you'll be able to see your drawings. So I know I chose white, so I'm just going to do a couple things with white and then switch it to one of the colors that they actually sent me um, so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Um, but So we're going to start drawing on here, and as you can see here, there is a circle diagram and then some lines, and then again, all their boxes so that you can actually draw inside there and get the filament to stick to this so that it does not fall off. So I'll do a little time lapse of me drawing. All you do is hold in the in button and draw like you're normally drawing, um, but of course you're pressing a button. So let's do some drawings and then um, we'll talk about how well this pen works. Alright, so as you can see there, I made this little, little, um, like, animal guy. So now I'm going to show you how to switch out the filament. It uh, is very easy. All you do is hold the out button and uh, slightly pull on, um, on your filament. It should be able to back it out itself, but once it gets to the end, um, you're going to eventually have to pull it out yourself. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is this tip right here gets very hot also. Um, so be careful if you're holding it like a normal pen, you know, your fingers get a little close to that. Um, so definitely be careful with that because it does get a little hot. Um, but also, I did have it up to 195 degrees. So I think cooler is better for this just because it um, needs to cool because it is PLA. When like on a normal 3D printer, you need a fan to cool it down to actually be able to get a nice smooth look. Um, but if you want to print with ABS with this, I think that would be really cool. Um, and you can definitely do some acetone smoothing maybe on that. And like I said in one of my past videos, I'm going to be reviewing the Polisher by Polymaker. So I might actually do a little um, mix up with this and the Polisher with some of the Polysmooth filament 
and see how well that goes. Do some cool projects with this. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy them. But now we're going to switch out a different color and um, do some more coloring. Alright, so you guys can see I've done a couple simple prints, but now I want to go over the speed. So this has five different speeds um, on here, and right now we've been printing on speed one. Um, so you guys know that speed, but I'll just start off to, um, showing you guys the different speeds with these circles. So first we're going to start off with speed one in the small circle. So I mean it's not super slow and it's not super fast. It is just a simple normal speed um, so now we're going to press the um, plus button to go to speed two as you can see it says it there now we're going to go to the second circle and there isn't much of a difference So now um, I'm actually just going to take these off because they're going to eventually get stuck. But as you can see, this mat is very, very easy to um, take off your um, prints, and it, but it also grips it on when you're actually pa you're printing. So now we're going to go up to speed five and see how that goes. So as you can tell already, a lot of filament is coming out. So I'm going to do another test. Um, for just like this to see how much comes out. All right, so there you go. Um, this isn't very easy to see, but um, in my opinion, I don't think there's a lot of difference to the speeds um, besides speed five to speed one. I think there's a there's a difference there, um, and I'm pretty sure the speed is just a flow rate, um, and there's not a lot of difference there. So if you want to cover a big um, area, definitely go all the way up to speed five. Um, but other than that, Speed 1 works great. As you guys can see, I made this little um, guy here, and um, he's pretty cool. This is what I like to make with my 3D pen, um, just for like little kids, something really cool. But I hopefully will now, because I have a good 3D pen I can use, the 3D Simo is a little harder to use because it's kind of a weird shape. Um, but hopefully I'll be doing some cool projects with this. Uh, but if you guys enjoy th uh, 3D pens, definitely go check out Devin. Um, over at make anything he loves 3d pens and he makes many projects with them so definitely go check him out um, he's a great youtuber and he definitely teaches a lot about 3d printing but um, now I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I feel about this pen and um, we'll get to the end of the video all right guys so um, I really do want to be honest this pen is really amazing and compared to my other 3d printing pen um, I definitely like it a lot more. Even though my other pen is a multi-tool, I usually more, more use it for a multi-tool than a pen because it is so difficult to use. So I definitely 100% recommend this. Um, and you can make cool little things like things in the air as you can see here. Um, as you can see, it's not perfect and that is what 3D pens are used for. Just to doodle and to make cool little um, 3D things. They do not have to be beautiful or perfect like because it's a replacement for a 3D printer. And also just like this cool little um, animal guy here I made. Just you can make things so colorful and um, use your imagination and creation to make awesome things. Um, it is super simple to use. Everything is in the manual, worded very greatly and super easy and um, user friendly. So if you have not purchased a 3D pen and you're really interested in one and getting one at $60, I think this is definitely worth it. Um, it is a super nice pen and um, if you buy it in the package, I'm not 100% sure how much the whole package is. Maybe um, $60 is the entire package, but I definitely recommend the um, drawing pad and then their filament also. So then you don't have to go buy your own packs of filament. Um, they give you just enough um, colors and uh, filament to make your own creations. And hopefully again in the future, I will be creating cool little um, 
3D printing pen projects. So as you guys know, I get affiliate links, so there will be a link down in the description below. I believe it is 15% off, so I'm pretty sure you can use this discount to purchase this pen. Um, please go get it. It is amazing, and if you guys enjoy this video, definitely let me know. Um, and if you didn't understand a couple things, please ask in the comments section. I will try my best to answer. Um, I usually get to all my comments. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this pen is um, this part right here heats up. Um, because it is just like a normal printer, uh, the nozzle area heats up, but then the surrounding also does. But it does get very hot, so it's kind of hard to hold because when you're holding it like this, it gets very hot and you don't want to hold it um, super far up here but again there is the in button so you have to hold it up here um, instead of actually just drawing normally um, which I do like that it is manual where you can stop and pause when you want to um, like lift up your nozzle to change it as you guys saw with this little guy there's multi colors and it's not all just combined together it's like again normally drawing and I definitely like that. I know that some printing pens are just automatic and you just draw normally. Um, and I definitely am not a fan of that. But it is cool that there's different speeds on here if you want to do a giant project. Um, and then the temperature changing. I do recommend, again, a lower temperature for, you, for PLA because it does have to cool faster. Um, but ABS on here will be great and I think can do some really cool things, especially with an acetone smoothing um, process after. I think it would look really awesome, but hopefully, again, there will be more projects in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun actually playing with this pen, and thank you so much, Owl Robotics, for sending this to me. Um, I definitely enjoy it, and will hopefully have a lot of fun with it. Um, hopefully, one day, I can actually make a video of little kids, um, some friends and family using it to demonstrate how easy it is for little kids to use and how actually safe it is because the nozzle is not exposed very much, so it's definitely safer than... Um, some other pens that are on the market. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. And um, there will be links down below in the description to um, buy this and purchase it. And again, the affiliate link. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. We're growing this channel very much and hopefully we'll get to 5,000 maybe by the end of this year. We are almost to 3,000 subscribers, maybe 200 behind. Um, but please share this video to let everybody know how awesome this pen is. Go get it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.